Hi, welcome to Bakes and Blenders. Today we're going to be making these super easy, super delicious molasses brown bread rolls. They are the perfect bread side to bring to the holidays. Thanksgiving, Christmas, doesn't matter, it's delicious. So if you're ready, let's get started. Add all of your wet ingredients to a bowl and give it a little stir just to lightly combine. I'm using a dough whisk to combine my ingredients. It's a great cheap little tool that I'm now a big fan of, but if you don't have one, you can just use a wooden spoon or you can even make this recipe in your stand mixer. Add about half of your flour mixture to your wet ingredients and give it a stir just to lightly combine. You're not trying to knead the dough, just bring it together into a wet, shaggy mass. Now you can add almost all of the rest of your flour, just hold back a little bit on it. Add your flour, add your salt, and use your dough whisk or your wooden spoon to combine until it starts to come together to form a cohesive dough. Spread some flour on your work surface, turn the dough out, and begin to knead for about 10 minutes. This is a fairly sticky dough, thanks to the molasses and sugar and honey. So if it is sticking too much, you can add more flour as you need. Try not to add too much, so just enough to prevent it from sticking completely to the counter and your hands. Place your finished dough into a greased bowl, turn to coat, cover it with cling wrap, and set it aside to rise for about an hour and a half. Weigh your dough and divide that number by 15. That's how much each one of your rolls is going to weigh. With a bench scraper and electric scale, portion out your dough and place each portion underneath a piece of plastic wrap so that your, your dough doesn't dry out while you're working with it. To get perfectly shaped rolls, take a portion of dough and pinch all of the loose bits together. Then form a C with your hand and gently roll while pressing down on the roll in one direction and it will pull itself together to make the perfect bun. Then place your shaped roll in a greased 9 by 13 baking dish. Repeat this process with the remaining 14 portions of dough. Cover the baking dish and let the rolls rise for about an hour. Then bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until the internal temperature reaches 190 degrees. While the rolls are still hot and fresh from the oven, brush them with a couple of tablespoons of melted butter to get that gorgeous glossy finish on your molasses brown bread rolls. And as always, you'll find a link to this recipe in the description box below. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Now that your rolls are ready, you can enjoy them with dinner or on their own. I love to put a little bit of honey butter on them and they are so good as a delicious snack. Or you can serve them with a delicious soup. That's what I'm doing for lunch today. So let's give it a try. Mmm, 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 mmm. They are delicious. They're dense but soft. 
There's the spiciness of the molasses, but the sweetness from the honey and the brown sugar, but not too sweet. You can have it with soup. Let's see what Ben think, thinks. Here, come pretty here. good. It's pretty good. Thumbs up. I'm pretty surprised. All right, I'm glad that you like it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more of my videos in the future. Now, if you get a chance to try this bread, I'd love to hear how it turned out for you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.